Sounds like your assessment of Remy Duvall was spot on. Listen to this. Look at what he's doing to us. Our neighborhood, our homes. Half of one refused to sit by and watch as some rubber-lipped nigger runs roughshod over everything we hold dear. And what is it you hope to accomplish? I will strangle that motherfucker! That's what I'll accomplish! I apologize. Shouldn't use that kind of language. He is egging you on, Remy. You are much too important to be caught up in all of this. Is the situation unfortunate? Of course it is. But nothing he is doing changes anything. Let Sal's men handle it. Sal's men? Olivia, the people of this neighborhood expect me to protect them, not some greased-up wop assholes. No, 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 I need to respond to this. I need to send a message to those niggas and the guineas that here in Frisco Fields, we take care of our own. This is a mistake, Remy. You could jeopardize everything we have been working toward. Our very way of life is at stake, and you think I give a goddamn about some casino? Sometimes I think you've forgotten your station in life, Olivia. A minute or so later, Olivia called Sal, told him Remy's Southern Union pals were out looking for you. If you head back up there, I'm sure it won't be long before you run into some of them, get them to tell you which hole Remy's hiding in. Yeah, once I'm done with that prick, Olivia's next. But getting to someone like her ain't gonna be easy. Between Marcano's men and all those rich white assholes she runs around with, they'll spot me coming a mile away. I need you to look at our options. Come up with a plan. Okay. I'm gonna look at our options and come up with a plan. What's wrong with you, man? Personal hygiene is very important. <laughs> together a hunting party with the Union boys <laughs> for your ass up near the old lookout point tonight. Guess they'll have to start without you. Came waltzing in, dicked out from their fancy white. We 
stand here in the ruins. The last <laughs> Frisco Fields as one of the city's most prominent citizens, Remy Duval, was savagely murdered. Witnesses report he was bound to a cross and set on fire. Let's see if we can get a statement from the police. Chief Wilson, you care to make a comment? It's those goddamn niggles. Every last one of them needs to be rounded up and shot. That's quite a statement, Chief. You need to wipe the shit out of your eyes, son. Take a look around. There's a goddamn war going on! Frisco Field needs some new wheels. Aye, I'll get her out to you right away. Hey there, Mr. Hugsela. I got intel on our friend Tommy. Dodger. Tommy Marcano brought in a counterfeiter from Cuba, right? Sal spent a couple of months trying to print the money himself, but none of it was worth a damn. The color was wrong, printing was cockeyed, you name it. He needed someone who knew what the fuck they were doing. So he used his connections and found a man named Alvarez. And this Alvarez was also counterfeiting money for Castro. Most of our enemies counterfeit American money. Hell, some of our allies do too. Sorry, he's gone. What do you mean, he's gone? All you had to do is drive down to the goddamn lighthouse and pick him up. It's not my fault Alvarez is running all over the goddamn place. I wanted to lock his ass up, but you wouldn't hear of it. The last thing we need is Zaraga finding out that we treated his nephew like dog shit. You understand? Then Lincoln Clay comes in shooting the shit out of it. Lincoln Clay. Lincoln Clay. I'm so sick and fucking tired of hearing about this cocksucker. He's just one man. A fucking nigga. We're skating a thin line here, Tommy. You understand? This thing falls apart. We fucked all of us. So, what the fuck would you do? What the fuck would I do? Listen here. This ain't rocket science. If that fucking nigga got to Alvarez, it means he knows about the place. He's gonna come after him, you understand? Get your ass down to that motherfucking gym and protect them. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. This shit ends right here, right now. No more fuck-ups. <sighs> Fuck me. According to these reports, Tommy Marcano had the money press in a boxing gym he operated. Tommy knew Lincoln was coming for the plates, but he felt he had to keep up appearances. The second he started canceling fights and shutting the place down was the second people started thinking he was out of his league. He wasn't about to allow that to happen. How did Lincoln Clay gain access to the gym? He had me track down a man named Alcy Bennett. Alcy was a small-time hustler that worked for Sammy until he double-crossed him and was kicked out of the hollow. After that, he scratched out a living recruiting fighters for Tommy's jungle fights. If he vouched for Lincoln at the door, Lincoln could get in without a big ruckus. Alcy's by the briar patch, not far from here. I'll stop by and say hello, see how he's getting along. <laughs> Have fun. Ha, <laughs> ha, 
<laughs> well, fuck me running. If it ain't Lincoln Clay. Surprised to see me, Alcee? Mm, I heard about Sammy and Ellis. Tough break. I guess you made it out okay. Speak of them once more, and I'll slice you from here to asshole. Let's go. We're taking a drive. Assuming I don't have a choice here. What do you think? Lead the way. fights, right? It is. And you've been recruiting black fighters for him. I have. Good. Because I want in. What? Why? I wanted you to know I'd have told you. If I'm sticking my ass out like that, I need to know why. Motherfucker, you lucky to be alive after what you did to Sammy. You really think you wouldn't notice you stealing all that money? Look, I paid for that a hundred times over. Six years banished from the only place I ever called home. Christ. I couldn't even go see my mama on her deathbed. You made your choice. And now it's time to make another one. And I do this. You get a clean slate. Come and go through the hollow as you please. Fuck. Okay. I hear if you win out, Tommy meets you in person. That true? He likes the size of the winners. See if that's someone he wants to bring on regular. Or if they're just a one-time deal. Where's this happen? Usually up there in his office. One of his guys will meet you in the locker room after the fight. Here, take you to town. All right. Fighters don't take the front entrance. We go in through the side door. See, who the fuck's this? This, this is Jack Knapp Johnson. What's he here for? Fuck you mean what he here for? We here to fight, boy. Gotta search him. No weapons allowed. Do what you gotta do. Watch where you put your hands, motherfucker. Save it for the ring, dipshit. Go ahead. Locker room's down here on the end. Hang back, boy. Maybe we grab some grub and we're done here. Motherfucker needs a doctor. Just dump him in an alley. Let nature take its course. You good now. Go on. Hi, you, Neville. Where you at, out, see? All right. I gotta go make the arrangements. Give him your name and such. You go on and get changed. Who you got with you tonight, LC? New guy. Man, new guy looks tough, but my money's staying on the brawler. I gotta ask you something, LC. What's that? Do all you niggas love beating the fuck out of each other? <laughs> so what happens if we get caught? Probably what you think. <sighs> For a chance to go home again, it's worth it. No matter what happens, we should go. This is it. You nervous? Should I be? Guess that depends on where all this ends. You're gonna head through these doors and they announce your name. Then make your way to your corner. Where are you going? Oh, I'll meet you there. This part of the show is all about you. They love showing off their fight niggas. Get in there, meat. And the jungle fights continue, boys! The next challenger to face Nick Boom Boom Beaumont comes in at over six feet tall, weighing approximately 220 pounds. This is Jackknife Johnson! Just had to start something. 
Motherfuckers over here! What the fuck you call that? Let him get you in the corner. Stay out of the corner. Got it. back to the locker room and collect your winnings. Where are you heading? Me? I got business to attend to. You niggas really know how to brawl. Uh, my respect, that's for fucking sure. You must think I'm some kind of goddamn moron coming in here like you did. I've never been one to shy away from a calculated risk. Maybe you should have. Mix some vegetable oil in. Mix the gasoline thick, sticky. We just gonna let it soak in a little bit. <laughs> Work his way into every nook and cranny. <laughs> that way, when I light it, that shit's gonna burn like napalm. <laughs> You are gonna hurt like no one's hurt before. Fuck you. Guess you ready to die. You still be conscious as the flames creep up your legs. But as they burn, <coughs> you be hit in the gut with a sickening revelation. Before you die... Wanna <laughs> bury you! You don't have to do this. We can work something out. 
Only thing you can do. So that's that, then. Sure looks that way. You know, Sal wanted me to go to law school. Work for some big company. Maybe run for office. Do something decent with your goddamn life, you understand? Should have listened to him. It's in the blood, you know. Yeah. You are who you are. No point arguing with yourself about it. Fuck you. Come here. Dipshit. I'll blast the black off him. Get line behind me, boys.
plates that Sal Marcano stole from the Federal Reserve. I don't recall. I understand you supplied the heroin Georgia was selling. See? Si. Certo. I never wanted that in my city. Shit like that fucks with people's heads. Makes them crazy. Stupid. Brings down too much heat. Bourbon? No. I do not drink. George, he tell you why I wanted to meet. He said the nigger killed your brother. That you wanted to discuss a deal between the two of us. My brother Tommy was a smart kid. He could have been anything. I tried to tell him go to college. Even offered to pay for it. I apologize for your loss. I'm building a casino across the lake. I had it all worked out, including how I was going to pay for it. Now it's all a goddamn mess. <laughs> you want my money. Well, I'm going to need enough to finish the construction. It ain't going to be cheap. I want to hear you say it. Say what? That you won my money. Say those words. Please. I want your money. This is good. <laughs> then I will bring you the money, and in exchange, you will let me sell heroin in your city, and you will not interfere in any way. Sure. Whatever you want. But that's not the only reason. And you wish me to kill the nigger. Hmm? I will do that for you as well. I enjoy killing the niggers. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's where Sammy's used to be. No one wanted to live there, so they uh, paved it over. Every now and then, something knocks the hell out of this country. Rattles it so hard, isn't much left but the foundation. And as painful as it is, we hope that this time things are going to be different. And that when it's time to rebuild, we won't just repeat what we've done in the past. And that maybe justice and peace will finally prevail. Justice and peace are hard, ain't it? Sometimes too hard. So we take the easy way. Proceed, let's get cracking. South Downs belongs to us. Tommy was smart and set up some solid, low-key rackets there. Should be a smooth transition for us. Ain't no one at this table running more action for you than me. On top of that, my guys already got half the rackets in this area locked down. Just keep the shit coming my way, that's all I'm getting at. Makes sense you want to stay one step ahead of us. Not give any obvious tales which way you're leaning. But I will say it's hard on our boys out there on the street. Not knowing what's actually theirs and what's not. I'm glad to hear we got Marcano's cocksuckers on the run, and I'm willing to look past the fact that you didn't call me about this action, if you just give me the turf altogether. Make the right choice here, and I'll whip up some fresh bucatini for We know the struggle in ways others don't know. Give me the key. Well, this is all said and done. Th this turf's going to the Irish. You're a goddamn genius, lad. Why the fuck are you calling my men to a part of the city you're not gonna give them? I'm gonna call this if no one else will. Time to get back at it. Let's clear out. 